Let's take a look at the uh, relationship between the standard potential and k, the equilibrium constant. Now we have a relationship um, from the Nernst equation between the potential of a cell at any given condition, which is equal to the standard salt potential minus uh, 0 0.0591 divided by n, the number of electrons being transferred, times the log base 10 of Q, the reaction quotient. But you can remember that the change in Gibbs free energy equals zero at equilibrium, and at equilibrium, the reaction quotient um, equals K, the equilibrium constant, and at equilibrium, therefore, the, the cell is zero. Well, we can insert this, um, these values, E is zero, and um, Q is K at equilibrium and derive a new equation which relates the equilibrium constant to the standard potential and that is that the standard cell potential equals 0 0.0591 divided by N times the log base 10 of K. So now if we have uh, the standard uh, potential we can calculate K the equilibrium constant or vice versa. Let's take a look at an example of calculating K. Now, in this case, since I want to calculate K, I can rearrange that equation and solve for the log of K is equal to um, N times the standard cell potential divided by 0 0.0591. Okay, so we'll take a look at this uh, chemical equation. It's not balanced, it's a redox reaction we're going to need to calculate the standard uh, cell potential so that we can then determine K from this relationship. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, determine what's uh, undergoing oxidation and what's undergoing reduction. And it looks like the um, chromium is being oxidized to chromium 3 plus because the oxidation state is going from a plus 2 to plus 3. And in this case, this sulfur compound is being reduced um, to this sulfur compound because the oxidation number is uh, decreasing. Now when I write these each as half reactions, I'll have the chromium is going to the chromium 3 plus plus one electron and the sulfur compound O6 is being uh, reduced, it's a two minus charge here and when I write it down, I need to uh, balance the reactants, the uh, elements first, other than oxygen or hydrogen. In this case, it's the sulfur. And when I do that, um, I balance the oxygens as well. And I see that my charge is not balanced. I need to pick up two electrons on this side. Okay. And so this half reaction, reduction reaction, is balanced. I can actually look these up in the standard reduction table. The reduction potentials for these from the standard reduction potential uh, table is negative 0.5 for the um, chromium 3 plus to chromium 2 plus reduction. And um, for this sulfur compound, it is plus 0.17 volts. So the standard um, EMF of this particular cell, the standard cell potential is going to be um, the standard uh, for the uh, compounds being reduced is 0.17 minus a minus what's being oxidized, which is 0.5. And so the standard cell potential here is um, 0.67, positive 0.67 volts. Okay. Um, I need to determine the number of electrons that are being transferred. And so I can see that I've got one electron being produced here and two being used there. Therefore, I need to multiply this uh, half reaction by two um, to get the balanced reaction, which is going to be two chromium plus the sulfur compound, two chromium ion plus two the sulfur compound. Okay, and so in this case, I can clearly see that my N is equal to two moles of electrons. Okay, so I have everything I need to plug into this uh, form of the equation. So it's going to be the log base 10 of K equals um, 2 times the standard cell potential is 0 0.67 divided by 0 0.0591. And uh, if I take the 10 to the X, uh, both sides of this equation, um, raising both to the power of 10, 
then k here equals 4 times 10 to the 22nd. That is a huge number. So this is very much a product favored reaction, uh, which we would expect because there's a positive potential associated with this particular electrochemical um, cell.